BOP adjustment under flexible exchange rate. Suppose India imports 100 million rupees of imports, worth of imports, and it exports, say, 50 million rupees worth of exports. Well, imports are more than exports, and it has to find how to pay for this difference of 50 million rupees. Since these are imports, it has to be paid in foreign currency. So, how will it get foreign currency? Well, it can sell assets to US resident. Say US is the other economy from which it has imported or it can borrow from US or decrease reserves of dollars. Either of these will get foreign currency. Can India repay? Yes, it could. If it can get a loan of say 50 million worth of rupees okay, from some country or something, then it can pay. It will have a current account deficit of 50 million rupees and, and a capital account surplus of 50 million rupees. It could also be no. Suppose it can get only 40 million rupees worth of credit. So what about 10 million? It has to go to the foreign market and its demand for the foreign currency will increase. It means that Indian rupee will depreciate, exports will increase and imports will fall. There is a current account deficit. US residents will buy Indian goods. This will put more dollars in Indian pocket, which, in other words, is going to give these firms or individuals to pay for those extra $10 million. So this is what happens in the flexible exchange rate system.